Hello. Well, hello, Paige. Yes, how are you, sweetie? Oh, yes, he's, he's, he's right here. Hold on. It's your girlfriend, Paige. Uh, so, Paige, uh, how you doing? What did you have for breakfast this morning, Paige? Uh -huh. And sausage. Ah, links or patties? Uh, yeah, I'm a patty man myself. Dad! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Paige. Uh, uh, did you want to talk to Maddie? Okay, hold on. Let me see if he's available. Hey, Maddie! Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, tell Paige I said hi. My dad says hi. What'd she say? Uh, Dad, can I have some privacy, please? Paige and I need to talk about stuff. You know, between me and her. No problem. <laughs> Hey, Paige. So you sausage for breakfast, huh? You know, that is so cool. There's no use, Daddy. He's gone. Let him go. Just pass me the fool's head, son. Phillips. Ah, <laughs> uh, ha. Uh -huh. uh, there's the problem. You don't need this piece. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, Daddy. Now it's gonna be much lighter when we haul it to the trash. All right. Okay, okay, I know how to fix this. Uh, do this with a little trick of I learned with a credit card. Right, now, you take this, mm -hmm. and you take these, mm -hmm. and you go and buy me a new vacuum. <laughs> Matter! Hey, guys. Uh, so what did Paige's mom dish up tonight? Meatloaf, carrots, and mashed potatoes. Ooh. Mm. Dessert? Homemade peach cobbler. Mm. Only woman ever made me peach cobbler was Sara Lee. <laughs> I've okay. got to go call Paige. Uh, you just left Paige's house. I know, but I got to go call her to let her know I'm going to call her later. Is a crazy idea. Why don't you just skip calling her now to tell her you're gonna call her later? Now check out the concept. Just call her later. You just don't get it. Oh boy, he's been eating at that girl's house a lot, huh? Yeah, man, it's great. Cut my peach cobbler bill in half. So this must be awfully nice people. Well, they sound awfully nice over the phone. You mean to tell me you never met them? Well, I wouldn't say I never met them. I mean, uh, uh, I waved to him when I dropped Maddie off at their house, and it was not the wave of a stranger. No, oh, there was a it was a really friendly wave. You know, it was it was as if we had waved to each other all our lives. <laughs> hey, Maddie, what do you say we invite Paige and her parents over for dinner? Why would you do that to me? Well, your mother always invited your friends' parents over. I mean, these people are a big part of your life. They should be a part of mine. Please, Dad, I know you. If you have Paige's parents over, you're gonna act all weird and embarrass me. Oh, come on. Now, why would I do that in front of your future in-laws? <laughs> Help me. All right, all right. I promise I won't embarrass you or act weird. And you won't tell stories about me? You mean like the time you peed on Santa's lap? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> A lot of kids get scared when they sit on Santa's lap for the first time. <laughs> that big old man and his big hairy beard. All them freaky looking elves running around. Carl, you were five years old. You gotta get over this. Santa did. <laughs> Promise me there'll be no pictures. Okay, no pictures, no story. Deal? Bye. Good, yes, that's my boy. Yes, I love him so much, my baby. Oh, and while Paige's parents are here, don't even think about this. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to go all out to impress Paige's parents by making something special for dinner. So what did I make for dinner? Well, you didn't know if Paige's parents preferred beef or fowl, so you made osobuco and rosemary chicken. I am so considerate of that. Uh, what did I make to go with them? Uh, Tuscan roasted potatoes, crab bisque, and sweet baby corn. 
Boy, I really knocked myself out. <laughs> yes, you did. You know, I really appreciate you doing this, Nicole. I mean, I could have done it myself if I wasn't so busy at work. And I love that you believe that. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm dirtying up a few pots, you know, in case they check the kitchen. Yeah. I am a messy cook. <laughs> so, am I serving Chardonnay or Beaujolais? Uh, Beaujolais. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Hey, Maddie, where are you going with the VCR? Oh, I'm removing all temptation. I don't want you showing them Maddie discovers mommy's makeup. <laughs> Come here, Maddie, my sweet little godson. Your mother would be so proud. I mean, here you are entertaining your girlfriend's parents. It seems like just yesterday you were sitting in your underpants eating bugs. <laughs> Dad? Uh, OK, I'll go. All right. Uh, and listen, I love you both. Thank you, And Nicole. remember, no matter what happens, don't overheat that bisque. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. So, Dad, how do I look? Very clean, my brother. Very. So you don't want to wear the blue shirt I bought you? Paige likes me in maroon. <laughs> how about I go put on my maroon shirt? We could be twins. Dad, not now. <laughs> Showtime. Hi, Paige. Hey, baby. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Paige. And you must be Mr. Stevenson. Oh, please. And we wave to each other. Call me Ben. Uh, and you must be Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Uh, technically, it's not Mr. and Mrs. It's Dr. and Dr. Taylor. You see, I've been a tenured professor of mathematics at the University of Chicago since 1986. And Carolyn's continuing her postdoctoral work in economics while raising our daughter. Well, all right. Now that we know a little bit about you, let's play our game. <laughs> Why don't we sit? <laughs> and all the other snowflakes dance from the stage, except our little Paige, who tourjetade when she should have grangetade. <laughs> Poor thing, we couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the funniest Grangete story I've heard in a long time. It reminds me of the time in Pee Wee football when Maddie's pants. Ow! Uh, actually, it's nothing like that. I was thinking about someone else completely. May we be excused? Uh, sure. Oh, but wait, before you go, my boy, I can't keep my hands off him. I love him so much. Dang. Dang. That's for the pick. <laughs> So, Ben, what other extracurricular activities is Maddie involved with in preparing for college, besides peewee football? <laughs> uh, well, he uh, actually plays uh, peewee hockey, uh, peewee basketball, uh, peewee baseball. Actually, he's a very well-rounded peewee. <laughs> uh, more coffee? Uh, thank you. By the way, Ben, dinner was delicious. Thank you. Yes, so few single parents would go through all the trouble of preparing a home-cooked meal. They just slap takeout down on paper plates. You know, I never understood that. <laughs> paper plates. <laughs> I especially love the chicken. What's in it besides rosemary? Uh, guess. Oh, come on, tell me. Nah, nah, you tell me. Cumin. Bing! You're right! Cumin! Yeah. Can't have enough of that cumin, huh? Yeah, keep that cumin coming. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Who's up for some king? Oh. Huh? Ben, you have outdone yourself. Yes, I have. <laughs> and don't even think about asking for this recipe. It's a, it's a family secret. Uh, I don't even know whose family. That's how big a secret it is. <laughs> So where'd the kids run off to? I know Paige would love some cake. Well, they're in Maddie's room, probably playing video games. She's in his bedroom? Yeah, yeah, he's got the whole PlayStation hook up in there. It's the one that Paige gave him. Ben, in our house, we don't invite the opposite sex into our bedrooms. <laughs> where does Carolyn sleep? <laughs> Gary, would you go get our daughter out of that bedroom, please? What's the problem? We don't want our daughter taken advantage of. My who? Maddie? He's a kid. He's a sweet, innocent kid. Come on, I saw them kiss once. There's nothing going on. Trust me. You saw them kiss? Yeah, it was an accident. I was coming home from work. They were here, unsupervised. Paige, come out here now. Gary, you got nothing to worry about. I I've seen him plant a juicier kiss on a golden retriever. <laughs> yeah? Get your coat. We're leaving. 
Why? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? I don't really know. I'll tell you what's going on. I thought our family shared the same values. Obviously, I was mistaken. Gary. So, before this dinner turns into some sort of Woodstock, <laughs> let's go. Dad! Nope, nope, nope. Gary. Dad. Man, I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> So let me get this straight. You told Paige's parents we kissed? Well, I may have. But whether I did or not, they shouldn't have overreacted. Oh, man. I knew I should have never left you alone with them. Dad, I'm the only Stevenson man with a girlfriend. You should support that. I do support that. I'm going to show you just how much I support that. What are you doing? I'm calling Paige's parents. Now that everybody's calmed down, I'm sure I can work this out. I don't know, Dad. Just relax. Everything's going to be fine. What's the number? Uh, it's on the speed dial, zero through six. <laughs> Hello, Gary. Uh, this is Ben Stevenson here. L listen, man, about what happened tonight. I know we're all feeling pretty bad, but... Okay, I'm feeling bad. <laughs> now, G Gary, Gary, watch your tone, Gary, watch your tone. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I fed you tonight. <laughs> this is sounding a lot worse than it is. <laughs> No, 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 don't put Carolyn on. I'm talking to you. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn, what do you mean the chicken was rubbery? Oh. Hey, I got news for you. I didn't make it. How about that? <laughs> What'd they say? I'm not gonna allow Paige to see you anymore. What? I don't believe this. I told you not to have this dinner, and now look what happened. All right, I I'm sorry, Maddie. Look, let's just wait a few minutes. I'll call him back. No, you've already done enough. Paige is the coolest girl I've ever met, and you ruined it for me. I hope you're happy. Oh, yeah. As a parent, these are the moments we live for. <laughs> hey, Angela. What's wrong? OK, you're wearing a brown tweed blazer, a uh, brown silk shirt with blue wool pants slightly creased down the middle. Nice choice, I might add. And you have on the same loafers you were wearing yesterday. Yes, I was right. Yeah, so let me guess. You're either taking a new class at the Learning Depot or you're stalking me. Of course, it's a class, boss. It's called How to Remember Everything. Well, you're doing great. Is Alex in? Haven't seen him. Hey, Ben. <laughs> Angel, where's that file I asked you to get me? When'd you come in? You picked me up at the train. Was that today? <laughs> Hello, good people. Alex. Mm. <laughs> so tell me, uh, w what part of the dinner do they like the best? And if you don't say the crab bisque, I'll weep. Oh, they loved the bisque. Oh. They just hated me. But they loved the bits. <laughs> now Maddie's not even talking to me. I told you that dinner was a mistake. Parents should meet parents at the wedding or the birth of a child. Whichever comes first. Why? What happened? Well, everything was going fine until we had this huge fight. Paige's parents completely overreacted to Maddie and Paige being in his room. Alone? Yes, alone. We were in the living room having coffee, and they were playing video games. As far as you know. Come on, we're talking about Maddie here. They weren't doing anything. As far as you know. I do know. They kissed once. That's all they've done. As far as you know. That... <laughs> Alex, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't even, you're not even a parent. As far as you know. That's it. Ben, all we're saying is it starts with an innocent kiss, and then, you There's know... There's not gonna be any then. Maddie's not even thinking about then. There's not gonna be any then for a long time. Oh, come on, Ben. You remember when you started kissing girls? You remember how chock full of hormones you were? You remember how fast then could make a sharp left and become a right now? I mean, this is Maddie we're talking about. No, the guy still drinks milk out of his crazy straw. Ben, do you have any idea what my father would have said if he found me alone in an apartment kissing a boy? If his name is Alex, make his life miserable to the day he dies. I do what I can. Mm. This is good. What is it? Rosemary chicken, Daddy. Mm. Well, Miss Rosemary is not in here alone. Mm. What could it be? Paprika, perhaps. No. Tarragon. 
No. Sage. Sage? Mm hmm. Sage. Hmm. No. It's Gilman, all right? Gilman. What's the matter with you two, anyway? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you have this big problem, and we're being very insensitive. So what's in this Ozobuco? I'm sorry, I'm just upset. You know? Ever since our dinner with the Taylors, I've been thinking they overreacted, but now I don't know. You think I should be worried about Maddie and sex? Well, kids do grow up awful fast these days, Ben. But if he's like you, he's got years and years and years before you have to worry. Thanks, that's what I figured. But if he's like Carl, then you got a lot less years. What does that mean? <laughs> what was that? What was what? Well, you just, you just looked at him. No, I didn't. You did so. Look, this is my kitchen. That's my fork. I get to know what's going on. Right. Well, you just did it again. Wait a minute. Wait a Wait. No, 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 no. Before me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's not possible. That's what I thought. So I came home early one day from the barber shop and caught him with the Roberts girl. Mm. Why didn't you tell me? Well, to tell the truth, it wasn't that memorable. But it was before you. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know this. I thought I knew everything that went on in that house. Same way you think you know everything that goes on in this house. You're absolutely right, Daddy. I'm gonna have a talk with my boy. That's probably him now. Forgot his keys again. Where the hell is my daughter? How should I know? Well, you should know, because she's run away with your son. My wife came home and found this note. My boy is at hockey practice. Keeps his equipment right in. Oh, man. I'm gonna check the school. Here's my cell phone number, in case you hear from your sweet, innocent kid. All right, I'm gonna head down to the rink. Daddy, would you call Maddie's friend Weitzman, please? Ben, everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry, Ben, I know a guy who knows a guy who can find anybody. If I could just find him. <laughs> Hello? Maddie. Maddie, where are you? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm at the bus station on Harrison with Paige, but I gotta talk fast. Dad, I don't wanna run away. She made me. She made you? Look, I don't have much time. She bought us two tickets to Cleveland. I don't wanna go to Cleveland. I've only got $7.32. How am I gonna support a woman on that? <laughs> no, here she comes. Who are you talking to? Uh, my travel agent. How does Vegas sound, baby? <laughs> I've never been to Vegas. Well, it's time for you to start living. Look, here's a buck. Go buy yourself something pretty. <laughs> Dad, help me. <laughs> Paige is talking about getting matching tattoos. All right, Maddie, just stay right there. I'm on my way, okay? 